Oh my goodness, I just filmed that whole little period with lipstick on my teeth. Oh well, oh well, oh well, oh well. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Sher. Today's video, we are going to be doing a charcoal clothing haul. I just needed a couple of new things in my wardrobe, but I thought I would just show them to you what I bought. Recently, Erin Scott did a, like, a winter clothing haul um, from Charcoal and um, she had this awesome discount code with 20% off, so I just used that. I've been wanting to buy from Charcoal Clothing for the longest time, but just was really unsure about the quality of them. So I thought I would give it a go um, and see what I thought. Plus it gives me an excuse to upload on here. What are you doing? Please um, don't mind my little precious kitty. She's got a bell on her. Um, so I apologize if she's running amok throughout this. Um, anyway, um, I hope you can hear me okay. I hope you can see okay. Um, I was hoping to film this a little bit earlier, but you know, time got a bit away from me. So I might just bring this up one. This well, yeah, that's better. Okay, so the first thing I got was the Grand Illusion top. This was supposed to be in teal, but I find that um, their website was a little bit overexposed, and so some of the things have come back darker or a little bit different in color. I thought this was gonna be like a really soft green, but it's not, it's quite intense. I don't hate it, I really like um, the top, so I'm not really mad about it, but it was $49 for this top. It's a ribbed material, super, super stretchy, really tight, and I wear a size 8, so I got this in a small, and it just fits so well. Um, the cut here is different to what I've had in the past. Normally, I have like a straight cut here, but it kind of like cuts out. I think it's flattering for the shoulders. I don't know, but it's super cute. I really like it. I love these tops. I would probably get all of them in this color. They're just really great quality, very thick, super comfortable to wear. I love it. The next thing is this Blakely midi skirt. This is in, <laughs> sorry. The next thing I got is this Blakely midi skirt. It's in size eight. I thought it was a lot more blue on the website, obviously with a little bit of green, but it's actually very prominently green. Um, it's a really flattering fit. It actually has um, elastic on the back and then an invisible zip on the side, um, which kind of is good because it hugs me at the waist. Really freaking pretty. I love it. I want to go back and get more of these skirts. Um, there's a slit just in the side here, which is really nice on both sides actually. And yeah, I don't know what else to say. It is slightly see-through though. So you have to wear um, either like nude underwear or I wear like a nude G-string when I wear stuff like this slightly see-through. Um, but otherwise, with that, you can't see anything. It's really nice. Just a great cut. Finishes down at my um, mid calves, which is really good. It's about to say mid thigh. Mid calves, great length. Really love this. Okay, I'm gonna just put the next one on. Okay, so this is the next item. It's the Soul Survivor mini dress. I thought this was going to be more of like a blue sort of leopard print thing, but it's not, it's green. And I don't hate it, I love green. Green's my favorite color. But when you think you're getting something and it's not that color, it's just really disappointing. I had really high hopes for this dress and I just feel so frumpy in it. I don't know what it is. It looks really cute on camera, actually. But um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a good length. It feels super comfortable. I got it in a size eight. Um, it does have these like little ropes here, which you can tighten your sleeves. How tight can they go? Oh, they can go all the way. Radio. Let's see how that looks. 
and then you can tie these strings. These strings are a little bit frayed already, which is not good. But you can tighten them, the sleeves up. I don't know, I just feel very frumpy. I feel like if it didn't have like this extra like layer of elastic that it would be okay. And I even tried it with a belt and I just feel super frumpy in it. Um, I feel like if you like flowy dresses like this, it would be really nice, but I I don't think I do like it. I just feel, I feel super frumpy and I feel like I can only wear this color when I'm fake tanned, like when I'm pale, just doesn't really go, but I don't know. What do you guys think of this dress? Not super fond of it, um, but yeah, I just want to mention as well, it does have like an under layer to it. So this is chiffon, but then it's got that under layer so you can't see anything through it, which is really nice. But anyway, I'm just gonna go to the next thing. Okay, so the next thing is this Miracle Top Knit and it looks really good on camera. Oh my God, I love this on camera. Um, the problem is I got a size small to medium and it is just too tight. Like look how close that is to my armpit. It's just like cutting off circulation. Otherwise, everything else is great. It fits nicely. It's not see-through. I love this asymmetric top where it's like not off the shoulder because I probably couldn't wear off the shoulder at work, but I could probably get away with this. It's like giving a little, but not taking too much. I don't know, I really, I love this top, but the sizing, mm, not great. I don't know if I were to go up a size that it would be too big, and I don't really wanna risk it, but yeah, I, I just can't wear this because it's too tight. Really pretty though, love the design, it's great. It's not for me because it's too tight. This Miracle Knit Top in White costs $49, by the way. And then moving on to the pants, um, these are like a three-quarter length pant and they're a beautiful shade of green and they're got, what is that called? Like a ribbed velvety material, but it just doesn't feel nice. Like it feels really cheap um, and it is a size eight, but it's like so tight. Like if I untuck this and just let, let my... Look at that pudge it causes. Not that I have a lot of pudge, but still, I don't want that. It's super tight. Um, and it just, it also had a funny smell coming out of the bag. But it's just really, really, it just doesn't feel nice. And I don't think it looks that great either. But yeah, it looks great on camera. But I just don't love the feel of it. Touching it is weird. Um, yeah, I am a little bit disappointed in these pants. Um, I really wish that they were, were not as tight. I'd probably keep them if they weren't as tight, but I don't know how long they would last. Um, and they cost $59 for these pants. Okay, so this is called the Long Shot Maxi Dress and this was the most expensive item. It was $79 and let me tell you, they missed the mark by a long shot. Bad joke, but I don't know what I was thinking when I got this because it looked kind of good on the model and then on me, what, what, what? For $80, Pretty much this is not the best material I love the cute button detailing but holy heck does this lose my body shape like look at this it's like so straight and ridiculous you can't even save it with a belt and just it just I don't know it's weird I don't like it um, as far as I can tell, it's not see-through, so that's probably the only saving factor. And, um, what the hell, there's like, so it's got splits down the side, on this side, and then it's also got a split in the, mi in the middle, which is three splits, which is really weird. I don't know if I want to stick my leg out this way, or this way. Hello! <laughs> 
which way do I want to want to do it I don't know it's just weird and it doesn't flow and it's baggy and oh I hate it not good do not recommend this one at all going to return it this is like mm. Mm -mm. So probably going to return that leopard print dress, this dress, and then also the white t-shirt and the pants because I don't, I'm not really loving them. So I don't want to keep them. Do you know what I mean? It's just not, not going well. Um, let me put on the next outfit. Hopefully it's a little bit more redeeming. Um, we'll see. So this is the sweetest curse top which was $45. Um, I didn't realize it was a crop top when I bought it, which kind of sucks because I was hoping it was like a long t-shirt. I love my long t-shirts, um, but it's okay. It's at a good length where if I wear high-waisted pants, it's not too bad. Um, I love the butterflies. They're so cute. Um, I don't know. I never really wear crop tops, so I think it sits really nicely. It complements everything it feels nice the material is great I love it don't like the fact that it's crop like I said but that's just because I'm not comfortable wearing crops but with high-waisted pants you can't even tell so I mean it's pretty cute I like it um, would I get it again probably um, yes yeah, it's, it's just really pretty I like it then we have the new energy pants in latte these are they're okay. I hate the fact that the zip is at the back. So I've got an invisible zip. I'm like, if you're gonna put an invisible zip, just put it at the freaking front so I can wear them and go to the toilet with easy access. Like, come on, you trying to make me pee my pants? Seriously, or is that just me? I don't know. But I don't like when pants have the zip at the bottom. It's just too much, unless I'm wearing them backwards. No, I'm not, because the pockets are here. Um. <laughs> Yeah, these looked lighter on the website. They're a little bit darker in person. They're more like a sort of like a light chocolate brown, but really pretty, super comfortable. If you know me, you know I love a wide legged pant. So these will be great for that. I love it, just effortless, flowy. They're really lightweight material, but thicker than linen. Um, and yeah, the little belt, is crap so you could probably go without it but it just looks weird with nothing there so i think i'll keep it but i don't know i think i like this outfit this is cute and then i have one more thing which i'll change into now i'm super stoked for this one so give me a sec oh my goodness so i'm just wearing that same t-shirt with the butterflies on it but these are the overalls i got Freaking cute, right? Um, what are they called? So these were the Davy overall jumpsuit in mustard. It cost me $39, super cheap, cheapest thing ever, favorite thing ever. This color is just so freaking beautiful. Look at it. Just look, oh my goodness, I love it. Um, the thing I don't like is these buckles are like super cheap, um, which I don't want them to break on me. Um, like I wish they had regular overall buttons. I think I'd prefer that a little bit more. Um, it's very like, it's like the same material as those pants, like thinner than regular things, but thicker than linen. I don't know, it's really nice. But I love these. I bought these to wear to work. I just think they're so cool. It's very 70s. Like, it's such a 70s look. I love that it has like a pocket here. Love that, it's great. Definitely a win. I wanted to end on a win. I wanted to end on these. I just think they're super awesome. These straps you can adjust to make them tighter or looser. And it's just super flattering. I I think it's great. Do you guys like it? Oh, it does have pockets. I didn't think it did, but it does. Oh, yes. $39, guys. If 
you there are any left, definitely pick this up because holy heck, I am in love with these so much. They're so good. Okay, well, that's the end of my charcoal clothing haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, I used Erin Scott's code, so if you do want to save a little money, you can use her code. I'll link her video down below. Um, but yeah, I will be returning a couple items that I don't love. I think it's about half. Half I loved, half I didn't like. So I'm gonna return that stuff. They don't do returns or exchanges. They do credit notes or you can cancel your afterpay. So I'm gonna cancel my afterpay for those items because I just don't want them. Um, but I probably will be repurchasing either those like um, high neck crop ribbed tops or the skirts again. Really love those. Even the winter stuff that Erin got was like, Good. So yeah, that's it. That's the end of my haul. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I hope I see you in my next video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Bye.